this is Marina. Today we're going to look at narcissistic victim syndrome. So what happens to us when we have been in a relationship with a narcissist or if you were raised in households where you experienced narcissistic abuse, you develop a victim mentality and the longer that you stay within these toxic situations then the more embedded that a victim mindset becomes so the victim mindset uh, occurs because you were emotionally abused you were emotionally manipulated now remember lies are powerful so lies keep us stuck they keep us in a certain way of thinking so let's look at narcissistic uh, victim syndrome so the whole thing that occurs is that you become the victim but you then also retaliate so you blame yourself for the relationship not working out but then you'll also blame the narcissist for the relationship uh, not working out you will then go into your cognitive dissonance where you are holding two opposing beliefs about the same thing you start to walk on eggshells you start to experience um, trauma meaning that you actually repress the biological process of feeling this emotional um, abuse so therefore now we start to trauma bond with the abuser and sadly, all of this just leads us to feeling completely powerless. So we feel stuck, we stop trusting, we stop trusting ourselves. This is the saddest thing, is that we say, how did I get that so wrong? We feel victimized. We feel, why me? How do I get myself out of this? We start looking at other relationships and we start thinking other people are happy. Why did this happen to me? And in particular, uh, we become very victimized when we feel we don't have the power. So we feel totally trapped and it's almost like we deserve to be controlled in this way. I am not worthy of love. So one of the things that we have to do once we uh, you know start our healing process is we have to give it you know we have to give time for the fog to lift because there is a veil that comes over us while we are in these relationships um it's because we have to you know suppress our rational thinking we can't be rational um and see the truth so we have a fog it's almost like we're you know, we can't think clearly. Some people will say things like, I can't work, I can't function. Uh, I don't know what's real anymore. Uh, I know that he or she's lying, but then I totally just uh, go into, you know, betrayal amnesia and I start thinking about all the good times, you know, all the love that we shared. So it is important that you do become aware that the longer we stay uh, in these situations then the more more entrenched our victim mindset will become and victim mindset also is part of what makes us compare ourselves to others so we're never good enough victim mindset keeps us on this hamster wheel one running and running and running around thinking why did they do this can they change it's always about them it's very external and it's not about ourselves so we need to definitely make stepping out of the uh, victim uh, our priority because we want to move to thriver but we need to step out of the victim move into survivor mode and then move on to the thriving that's all for now and if i can help you please reach out bye